All right, welcome back to another video. It's April 15 today. I'm on my last week of school. It's a Monday afternoon. I'm over here in the back of the dry shed. We have this straw chopper here. Um, Mom and Dad used to use this straw chopper all the time in the dairy barn on the tie stalls. What they did is they threw small square bales in the top and then ran along bedded up all the cows that way. Um, around five, six years ago, we switched over to round bales. We stopped using this chopper. Um, we aren't gonna use it right now again on our farm, but my dad, he has an off-farm job as a dairy nutritionist, and he goes around to a lot of farms. And um, yeah, so it's a new startup of a new freestyle barn. Um, they milk about the same number of cows we do. And they're having a little bit of trouble with their new bedding system. They're working some things out. They have a brand new one of these on order. But I think, I don't know how many weeks, four to six weeks out from getting it. So in the meantime, they want to use this one. Um, pretty much, if we uphold our end of the deal, it runs. It'll chop a bale. Then they're gonna put two new tires on it. I have a new tire for that if that one's flat. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead, see how the handle's broken and whatnot. Gonna get this thing running, or try to get it running. Like I said, it's probably been sitting here for five years, um, if not more. Cause I remember using it, but I never remember physically using it, throwing bales in. So it's probably been six seven eight years so yeah anyway i'm gonna start off with the good old gas oil spark plugs but yeah this thing hasn't been touched you can see it's got gas um a couple of my favorite products here carb clean you can start the motor running off this and then sea foam to clean up the gas that's in there and then we'll check oil. Those are just the two things. You see it's got oil. Um, yeah, if it starts, we'll go ahead. We'll change the oil. Um, we're going to look at spark plugs too, all that stuff. First, I just want to make sure it runs. Pull off the air filter. I have tampered with this thing before a little bit when I was younger. That's why that covers off. But yeah, it's gonna go through it. It's gonna need some tender love and care to get running properly, but I'll see if I can get it going. There you go, it runs off carb clean. Just gotta clean up the fuel. Now I'm gonna get it out and clean everything else up. But it runs, not locked up, all good. Got it running to the point where it'll run on its own power now. Don't have to add anything. Um, we're missing some parts on the carburetor, but it will run. We're just missing a couple small springs. One that went on this line, and one for the choke. See the choke might kill it because the choke has no stiffness to it, but it will stay running. Uh, it's got a bit of a backfire, I guess. I'm gonna get it off. The loader tractor set on blocks and try and engage some stuff. First, I'm gonna put the carburetor back together. So it runs like so it keeps going. Um, it's eating away at this belt in here though, it's down to the cords. 
the belt popped off a couple times and I put it back on and I adjusted it and it ran good but now it seems like the belt's getting a little eaten um, yeah it's a little unfortunate that one's not gonna be too fun to get to either all right so we got air in all the tires um, dad called the guys that are gonna use it he just let them know what was up we already knew it needed a tire he also let them know it needed a belt um, we're not charging them to use it for the eight weeks or whatever they can just keep it running whatever it takes uh, yeah just let it run whatever it'll be good for it it'll get a couple new parts but it is what it is we don't care it just sat for years so let them use it um, there is one of the motor mounts I gotta find a bolt for it then I gotta weld that on so you'll see that but it's already looking a lot better um, yeah everything works though you can see here it's a two-handed job so I'll try and make it work with one but you can adjust there we go so yeah you can adjust that shield in the top so see that dad was showing me that I closed the flaps um, not perfect but it'll work them guys that are using it they're very handy um, cash crop and dairy farm so they'll keep it running good they they can fine-tune it however they want so yeah next project we got to work on is getting our lawnmower out for the spring so I'm gonna go do that there you go I got lawnmower out of the shed it's running how to oil all that fun stuff um, the battery is dead I just grabbed that big jump pack started no problem um, that jump pack just rated the start pretty sure 8 liter diesels or something so this thing was no problem or 7 liter diesels anyway it doesn't matter here I had it in neutral I pushed it out of the shed gonna get it back in gear gonna drive it around add some air to the tires because these front ones look just a little low and then I'll have to grease it up and service it at some point but for now I think we're just gonna start using it a bit so yeah Let's get to it all right it's after chores now you see I got the hot glue gun out the MIG welder I went ahead MIG welded that back together um, wasn't too picky about how it looked that's why I was saying the hot glue gun out you can see it's a little bent I gotta bend it over to get it in there. and you can see the handle is a little crooked I'll just get that straightened out and then I'll bolt it on
All right, so the last clip would have been that chopper running. Um, I threw the bale in the chopper, cut the strings, and Dad was running it. So, just wanted to show you instead of using the chopper now. I know I've shown it before. This is what we use around bale cart. Run down the barn and bed all the cows that way. So yeah, um, around bale cart now, we switched around bales and that's one of the reasons why we stopped using it. Um, yeah, like I said, it's probably been a uh, better part of eight, nine years since we used it or maybe a little less, but a while. Got the auger running behind me. Don't want to forget about that, but I'm gonna take you over to the other barn gonna go over the dry shed I'll talk about the chopper a little more lights on okay so over here there we go um, ran it again just to show you I told you I'd test it so I lived up to it and also I was a little curious it's been a long time so, yeah, there's her chopper. Um, Dad was running it, like I said in the video I was recording. One thing he pointed out that I I saw but I didn't think of was you have your chopper and he said when he used to use it, he'd push it and he'd stack two bales there and throw one in there. So then he could chop three bales at a time before refilling. Um, yeah, that was when we still did small square bales and what have you. But that's how we did it. Ran up and down the barn. They bedded twice a day. Um, Mom and Dad, tonight I quizzed them. or trying to recall how many bales we used to chop in a day. Um, 10, 12 or whatever, that was the number for small square bales that they ran through this thing a day. Um, yeah believe we settled on that it was bought right around when I was born 2005 and then yeah we we probably quit using it 2015 so we used it for 10 years or so um, it was used when we bought it the other thing I was speculating on today it's hard to see so bear with me there are the flashes on I'm thinking it's repainted the way that paint looks um, doesn't matter then you can see in here, those are the knives. Um, every time you run it from here on out till whenever, they'll get a little sharper because, yeah, they got rusted. But here's the final product. Um, you can just see straw, it's about all as long as a finger is and shorter. Um, nice stuff. Uh, yeah, so we quit using it when we went away from small squares. Um, this guy that is using it, him and his son, they farm in a freestyle barn now. They just switched over from tie stall to freestyle. They built a new barn. I'm going to check on the buggy, but I'll keep talking. So, yeah, they switched over from a tie stall to a freestyle. Brand new barn. They're running the Manure. Scrapers in them are not the alley scrapers, but the robotic barn cleaners Turn the light off shut the door so they're doing that and um, The straw has to be chopped fine for them to work so Initially, I think they started out Trying to use a round bale chopper like what's hooked to the 2750 to pull behind the tractor bale chopper there's a little too big to fit in their barn alleys. So then they decided they were going to buy a self propelled one. The weight for it's like six to eight weeks. The pull behind that they demoed, I'm pretty sure they demoed it and not owned it. I'd have to ask more questions, but I didn't. Um, they were returning. Yeah, they need top straw. So my dad was talking to him. Um, he just mentioned it and dad said yeah I think we can help you out with that um, 
I always was looking for a bit of a reason to get it running again. It's kind of a cool piece of equipment. Um, yeah. Not something that would be maybe fun to run 365 every day. Because it was more work than the round bales. But it does make a nice product. The straw is finer. It's more absorbent. Uh, and then in this case, when you run one of those robotic barn cleaners, you need the fine straw for it to work. So, yeah. Anyway, I don't know what else to say. I wanted to show you guys fixing it up. I think it's kind of a cool piece of equipment. Uh, Dad bought it for, I believe, $2,500. He said him and Mom paid for it back in the day. But I don't fully recall um, if that was exactly what he said or not. But, yeah. Anyway, that's that. Um, yeah. So, figured I'd tell you where it's going because I didn't want to fix it up. And then you guys asked where it's at. Because, yeah, it's not going to be at the farm for the next little bit. So, thanks for watching. God bless.